Hi, uh, my name is Jim Vasella. I'm an associate producer on Command & Conquer 3. And I'm going to be walking you through a first look at one of our single player missions. We are currently in Cologne, Germany, where an unknown alien enemy has taken over the city. And my job is to take these initial scouting troops of GDI and investigate the alien base. And proceed from there. To take a look at our new objective system, I can click on this little arrow, which will take me to my objective uh, on the other side of the map. Anywhere I am, this arrow will pop up, which will allow me to know exactly where I'm supposed to go. Here's my first encounter against some of the alien enemy. We call these ships the Storm Riders. They are a fast attack aircraft. And to take them out, I'm going to have my rocket troops who are garrisoned in this structure launch volleys of rockets at them. taking care of that force, I can continue moving through the city. In my party is a mix of missile soldiers, riflemen, Zone Troopers, which are a heavy GDI infantry in a power armor suit. And the unit that we've brought back from the classic CNC series known as the Commando, who is an elite individual unit. He's armed with a rapid fire rail gun. And it's the best GDI weapon at taking out enemy infantry, as you can see. As I move to the west, we're going to encounter one of the first big alien units. This is known as the Annihilator Tripod. It's a cool unit in that it has three tentacles on top of it, which can all fire in different directions. So, if I were to try and flank this guy, he would begin by firing several lasers at me all at the same time. Fortunately, I was able to take him out and continue with my mission. Although my troops are growing thin, so I have to be extra careful. Although that yellow box indicates, I'm pretty close to my first objective. So now that I've completed my first objective, it gives me a notification telling me so. And the second objective is now given to me. So 
So now my mission is turned into using our engineer capture mechanic. I can follow these arrows again. And you can see I've been given a dispatch of several engineers and reinforcements in an effort to recapture this GDI base. So first I'm going to continue taking my initial troops and try and rescue those guys. I've now cleared a path to my objective, allowing my defenseless engineers to scurry forward. And once I capture this power plant, I have access to a new, new area of the map where I've been given access to a rundown GDI base. And I've been given my next objective, which is indicated by a new arrow, which is to take out this alien base that I first scouted in the upper left-hand corner of the map. And so what started as an initial recon mission with a finite number of troops is now turned into a classic base-on-base -base battle with access of a fairly full tech tree. And this is our first introduction of bonus objectives. Bonus objectives are spread throughout our campaign in an effort to encourage the player to take on some extra challenges. Uh, completing them is completely optional for the mission, but upon completing them you will be rewarded with either reinforcements or new intelligence information that will help you complete that primary objective. 